Hello YouTube, I'm uh, doing a video, three fragrances I'm excited to wear <clears throat> for spring. Uh, spring is upon us in the United States, today was like 65 degrees uh, Fahrenheit outside, not Celsius. Um, had a relatively warm winter, had a couple of bad days, uh, believe it or not it snowed. It's good, it snowed um, Friday night. Got like seven inches here in Tennessee. Um, this side of Tennessee, at least. Uh, wonderful weather. Tomorrow's going to be 64. So, just as warm as today. And going to get a little bit of rain towards the end of the week. But, oh well. My scent of the day uh, last night and part of today was Shalimar EDP. As you know, I love Shalimar. I love the, the animalic nuances to it. Oftentimes... People talk about Mitsuko as being one of the greatest sheepers of all time. I think that um, Shalimar is very underrated as a sheeper. I get a ton of oak moss um, as well as a lot of castorium, civet, musks, uh, vanilla, powders. I know some people don't like powders, but I love powders. One of my favorite powders is Iris Pudra and um, Chanel Number no. 19 Pudra. So... Uh, three fragrances I'm excited to wear for spring. If you have been in the fragrance community or you're um, a fan of fragrances in general, you know that spring is the time of year that it seems like a lot of people dread because, you know, you're stuck with the boring citruses and especially in summer, you're stuck with the boring um, citrus aquatics and even some of the fragrances that uh, the nicer houses that make these fragrances, um, that have better quality ingredients and better quality naturals. It seems like even um, the stuff they make for spring and summer really sucks, to be honest with you. And you're just paying an overpriced price, really, for what you get. Just a lot of basic eau de colognes. But here are three fragrances I think that are interesting um, and worth the purchase. Uh, one of these is not an original formulation. The rest of them are... Uh, the other one is hasn't been formulated yet, and one of them you can still pick up readily, uh, pretty easy. But uh, starting off is a beautiful Lily of the Valley fragrance. This is Synthetic Jungle by Frederick Mall. I really like this 30 ml. If you have as many fragrances as, you know, the people who I know in the community, you don't need 100 ml. You don't need 50 ml. I really like 30s. I really like these 30s. Um, very easy to slip in my pocket, very easy to slip, uh, oh God, so good, in my truck, uh, in the armrest, or the glove compartment, whatever you call it, wherever you're from, the glove bag, or the, the glove compartment, I think I already said that, but oh well, I'm gonna quit rambling, uh, by Ann Filippo, says it right here, nice cap, really like it, you can actually pick it up and wiggle it around, it doesn't move. Uh, a beautiful lily of the valley, beautiful citrus. It's a very juicy fragrance. This, honestly, uh, it's like a, if you've ever watched the movie Predator, not as in a predator as in a child molester, but a predator as in a in an alien. Not an alien as in the movie Alien, but an alien as in Predator. Uh, not alien versus predator. When they're going through the forest and uh, the guy takes the machete and chops off the vine and he starts drinking from the vine. That looks that, that looks so wrong, what I just did, but um, it really reminds me of that. It, it, it's, it's vegetal, it's borderlining earthy, but it's just really juicy and green. And then you have some indels from, I think it's jasmine. I know there's lily of the valley in here, but I'm pretty sure there's a little bit of jasmine as well. And there's a beautiful leather note that no one ever talks about in here. I don't know why they don't talk about it. Um, I guess a lot of people just want to go off of what other people say. People just want to look at the top three reviews on Fragranica and just copy and paste what they say. Or base notes, but oh well. It's beautiful. I really love the leather note. It's not a leather boot. It's not a leather jacket. It's like you walked into the, the Sperry store. Um... Not as not the Sperry section in Dillard's or Belk, um, but if you're actually in a, a specific Sperry store, that's what this can smell like. That's what the leather smells like, at least. Beautiful fragrance. Can't wait to wear it for spring. Uh, perfect for a spring day. Perfect for a spring evening. Um, not, it's 
not powdery. I was going to say it's powdery, but it's really not. Um, can't wait to wear this. It's not necessarily a sexy fragrance, but it definitely... You can definitely wear it in a sexy setting. Up next, we have um, a third uh, Homme de Caron. Caron honestly has some great fragrances. I don't know why uh, we as a community have forgotten about Caron. I think it's because we're so used to seeing some of their bottles in um, Walmart, Shoppers, uh, whatever, where, whatever and whatever, wherever and whatever store that's cheapest near you. We see a lot of these in there, and we just come, kind of pass them by. But honestly, these aren't bad qualities. This is not a bad quality fragrance. It's very good. Um, if you know me, I'm not a huge fan of Fougeres. I really don't like Fougeres, and the reason why I think I like this is because that this isn't really a fougere, so to speak. This is this is more of a Chypre borderlining on a fougere. To be honest with you, I've heard older formulations are more of the Chypre type style. This isn't very green. This isn't very harsh. I feel like a lot of fougere fragrances come off as trying too hard. Um... I made a comment in a video saying that I don't think that any barbershop fragrance is worth over $50. I got this for $39. Um, and I'll stand by that. I do not think that any um, uh, Fougere barbershop fragrance is over $50. Because first of all, most haircuts don't cost over $50. Um, I think the standard price around here is about $30 a haircut. So, and that and that isn't why I say that. That's because that this and the original Caron de Poron, uh, Caron Un, the, the, reg, the, the regular Poron by Caron, um, you can pick it up for like 20 bucks. And I think that this and that one outdoes basically every Fougere Barbershop fragrance. It outdoes uh, both of MDCI's uh, Le Barbar de Tanguer and Invasion Barbar. It outdoes the Dior's. It outdoes the Chanel's when it comes to barbershop fragrances. Any barbershop fragrance, I feel like this outdoes. Um, and I do like that this has that added depth to it. has that added muskiness. And it has that added... It has a, it has a little bit of a leather note. Not like a, a shoe leather, but just like a... I don't really even a leather, but it's a leather feeling it gives off. It gives off a leather feeling. A little bit smoky. So it really outdoes a lot of them. And, and for $39, I mean, you can't beat it. Let's just be honest. And and that's why I'll never pay over $50 for a Fougere fragrance. Because this does it better. And even though this isn't even an original formulation, this does it better than most of them out there. And I think that they're just overpriced, really. And last but not least... Um, this list wouldn't be complete without an Eau de Cologne. Um, it went from an Eau de Parfum to an Eau de Toilette to an Eau de Cologne. Um, and this is Royal Lime Bermuda Royal Musk. Saying that correctly. You can buy this at Brooks Brothers. And if I remember correctly, this is, um, a pretty vintage bottle. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, my grandfather has said he's had it since the early 2000s, so it probably is somewhat original. Um, I originally mistook this as just a fragrance. It's basically just an aftershave. However, this lasts up to 10 hours. Um, I like this metal. Is it metal? It might, this might be lead. I don't know. This actually might be lead. My finger will make a my fingernail makes a groove in it, so this actually might be lead. So I could get lead poisoning off of this. Oh yes, wow. Oh Lord Jesus. Mm, yes, man. Royal Musk, musky. This isn't really even Fougere. This is just straight up musk, honestly. Some beautiful musk. Yes, you get the alcohol note in there. Um, but man, I'm I'm just so excited to wear this. I I'm so excited to wear this. Uh, I've smelled the newer stuff. It doesn't smell the same. The newer stuff really smells like old spice, and I hate to say that because you know it's what everyone's granddad or dad wears. 
but th this this stands itself apart. Th this will be getting a review pretty soon, um, as well as the third on De Caron, um, and Synthetic Jungle. I think that all three of these, since I've mentioned them in this video, I'll just go ahead and do a review on them. Uh, so that'll be coming up. But these are the three fragrances I am excited to wear for the spring. Uh, I'm, I'm already calling this video out. Oop, didn't mean to flip the, off the camera. Uh, but anyways, hope everyone enjoyed that. Uh, tell me some of your fragrances. Three, four, five, six, sixty-nine. I don't care. Um, fragrances that you're excited to wear for spring. Hope everyone has a great day.